your energy. You're allowing your machine to be efficient. You can last, you can endure, you can complete the race. In swimming, and I, I'm not the best one to talk about swimming because I'm not a very graceful swimmer, but I know that. I move way too much, and if I were to study swimming, they would tell me how to make my movements more graceful so that I don't splash so much. Do you see the connection there? Because when I'm splashing with all of these big movements and I'm kicking, I'm tiring myself out, I'm not graceful, and I'm not going to be able to compete if that's what I'm training to do. I'm fighting against the water. I'm going against. I'm not moving with the wisdom of Wu Wei. They're sloppy, rough, against the system kind of movements. Do you see? That's Wu Wei. To find a way of moving gentler and solving the problem and doing the task in a gentle way. That's no action. So no action isn't exactly no action. It's, as you say, gentle action. Creative quietude. Finding the quiet way. <clears throat> Sometimes it might mean doing nothing at all. Yeah. Is it kind of like when the Buddhist <coughs> women do their walking meditation? Sort of? Um, I mean, I know this is more like emotional, mentally thinking. But I, think a, I think better examples are found um, in Judo and Tai Chi. I mean, these are like Tai Chi, for example. There are always these movements that are opposite. They're, you're moving like the tides. You're moving forward, and then you're pulling back into the opposite direction. And you're balancing at all, mo at all moments. You're perfectly balanced. This arm is moving while that leg is balancing that movement, and you're pulling back like the tides and then pushing forward again. That's Tai Chi. You're fostering the balance. You're imitating the dynamic flow of the universe. Acupuncture is based on the entire teaching of Taoism, yin yang, and the flow of qi, and wu wei as it applies to healing. Acupuncture is based on that. You have these meridians in your body where qi flows, energy flows, 12 main meridians. And you have little on ramps and off ramps, little points. And if the, if the needle is inserted properly along those points on the meridians of energy, you enable the flow of qi. You walk into the office of a Chinese doctor and you say, oh, I, I have a headache. And she might look at your fingernails, your tongue, your eyes. What is she looking for? Your tongue is too red. Your fingernails are too red. Your skin is flushed. Probably you have too much yang. They will couch that in terms of an imbalance of energy, an imbalance of qi, whereby, due to that imbalance, you have a surplus of yang or a deficiency you know, somewhere else. And so the idea is to regulate that flow of energy again so that the yin and the yang will find their balance again. It's much like when you do tai chi and you're allowing that qi to flow and to find its balance and find its harmony. When you're ill, it's assumed that your whole body is imbalanced. Your headache is a symptom of the imbalance of yin yang in your body. There's a blockage somewhere, and your chi is not flowing. So it's a whole body thing. It's not just a head thing. So she might not even treat your head directly. She's inserting the needles at just the right point so as to enable the flow of chi again and the balancing of yin yang. How does Wu Wei fit into it? Well, take Judo, the Japanese martial art. You're not going against. It's not competitive in that sense. You're hardly moving. You're deflecting the energy of your quote-unquote opponent. You're deflecting that energy so that you hardly move. I have footage of this old man, tiny little man, throwing these big, young, six-foot men down to the ground with hardly a move of his wrist because he used the energy of his opponent himself, and he just deflected that energy with a little movement. He just deflected it. He hardly needed to exert any effort at all. It was effortless. It was, it was Wu Wei in action. Wu Wei in action. 
sailing. What happens if you find, you know, that the storm is coming and are you going to try to go, or, or you're caught in a riptide. Just like in sailing, you're using the wind. Same thing if you're swimming out there in the ocean. What happens if you're caught in a riptide? They always teach you, don't try to go against it, right? You have to find a way to kind of, um, shall we say, deflect the force of it. You know, you're, you're moving in such a way that you can pull out of it without going against it. <laughs> and if we can find that wisdom in our lives, and solve problems like that, and execute our tasks like that, we can be more efficient in everything we do, the way we study, the way we do our work, right? Yes, it's all about simplicity, exactly. You're not doing what you don't have to do. Have you guys ever watched The Dog Whisperer? Yeah, I love that show. I do too, I like it too. I think that he uses Wu Wei in the way that he works with the dogs. I think the average person expends too much energy in frustration with kids and dogs, actually. Getting mad, going against, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that, getting madder and madder at each turn. And does it ever work? No. He doesn't go against the dog. He works with energy. And he does as little as possible. Once he understands how to communicate with the dog, a simple little is enough to sort of cut through that negative behavior and pull them into a new groove, you know, starting the train of a new habit with very a, a very small, gentle little push, just a little sound, to break the cycle of the bad habit. It's simple, it's very simple. It's almost like, it's almost like what we call um, reverse psychology. I used to use this with my son, and I think it worked very well. <laughs> And I mean, he's a good point. <laughs> you know, a lot, of, a lot of times it's tempting to get angry, get angry, get angry. But sometimes I think reverse psychology is actually a great example of Wu Wei. Because you're not saying, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. Saying, all right, well, I, I guess we won't go to Disneyland then. That, that's okay, because I really had other things I wanted to do. No, no, okay, I won't do it. Works like a charm. <laughs> So, but you gotta be prepared to follow through, that's the thing. See, I pulled that on you guys the other day too, right? didn't I? Okay. Guess you don't want your tests back today then. But see, I wouldn't have given them to you, I would have followed through. <laughs> but see, isn't it a lot easier than just um, throwing stones, throwing rocks, throwing stones, throwing rocks, stop it, stop it, stop it, right? And so, your homework is based on this teaching of Wu Wei. What in life, what political situation, what personal situation do you think might benefit from the application of Wu Wei? Certainly you could think of something. I gave you a whole handful of, of examples this hour. Okay. Sailing and floating and working with dogs and kids. What do you guys think? Playing drums. That reverse psychology reminds me of um, another one of my um, beloved teachers. He's a, actually a yoga teacher here in LA. And he talks about what to do when dealing with angry people. What do you do when dealing with angry people? Yeah, you certainly don't contribute to that energy because, yeah, exactly. Well, it's like to use a, a very crude metaphor. It's like throwing shit to the fan, right? You know, you're just feeding into that. You're spinning it. You're spinning it. 